Today, Precarious plays Ratchet and Clank. It's funny oh, because... Oh, okay, no, it's okay. It's funny because I do think that's sort of a visual double entendre because since they're a big, like, pipe... This is, like, their big pipe storage space, mm-hmm. I think they are actually trying to say don't go up here. But yeah. for a player, it's it's a very different suggestion visually. Yes, it is. So that's cute. I like that. But um, XCOM Enemy Unknown... Um, I feel like... Did I just get all the bolts in here through the pipe? No, I'm, maybe. I don't. If if bolts fall into an inaccessible area, I think that they they, they very politely just gift them to you. Mm-hmm. That's nice of them. Yes. Although it does create a weird situation where an ideal strategy is to knock enemies to their death, so that way you don't have to collect the bolts yourself; they just they fly to you. Wee. So, um, I'm a Lombax. I'm a rich Lombax. <laughs> I think you're finally going to... The next planet you go to, you're probably going to be able to get on a uh, on a new track where as you arrive at a planet, you can get its weapon, which mm-hmm. is nice. Wait, is there stuff over there? I saw crates. Where? Down a little bit. Like, there's a, there's a platform over over to the right. There. You can see bolts. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, you know. Probably just a few bolts and Is no. it an ammo box? Worth it. Okay. So um I feel like Ooh, I think we're getting somewhere. The visual direction of XCOM Enemy Unknown. <sighs> um Ready for this? Yeah. I think, like, the tone and the visual no stuff that was happening in XCOM Enemy Unknown didn't me. match up with the, the sort of simplified mechanics. Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Get a new one. We mm-hmm. saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't <laughs> seen him since our ship crashed. <laughs> I've already written him off as dead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship... Oh my god. You look like an athletic kid. <laughs> yep, no I'm definitely Clank. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. Oh, you are lucky I depend on you. All right. What a flaky fucking guy. <laughs> Who, this dude? The agent. Yeah. Uh, I, I know little about agents, but I have heard that that is... Fairly typical. Watch this. Is it a cannon? Oh, oh my. Ooh. Nice, right? The select button or click the right analog joystick to bring up the map. This may help. Suddenly, I'm feeling like a like a just a a grade A asshole. Mm-hmm. Because I have sort of a. Mm. I think if I were to have like you or Fang play XCOM. No. Ooh, you did a bad. Mm. I think if I were to have you or Fang play an XCOM title, mm-hmm. I would probably recommend that you play XCOM Enemy Unknown. Which This is rude to many people and uh you guys in particular, but in my head, I kind of feel like XCOM Enemy Unknown is sort of like Baby's first alien defense title. Oh no. Like Baby's first strategy game. Gotta start somewhere, right? I know, and I I just, that's just how I feel inside about the game. It's just what my heart tells me to think about the game. Okay. Because it was supremely easy like on on the difficulty level that doesn't just dive straight into they cheat they cheat the enemy cheats Mm -hmm. they cheat to challenge you like they just i don't know i don't know what to think about it i could probably play that game (gasps) oh hey 
It's him. Skid McMarks. Skid McMarks. Not Skid. Do you think you could have talked to him before you found the agent? I think so. Do you think if you talk to the agent now, you can be like, oh, no, he's alive over there. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship Hi, due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. Oh. Oh. Did you get that before? I need to find Captain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Dog, a dog. Hoverboard. There's a dog. Well, all right. well, that was just a cool that little moment of character building, I guess. What? He said that he's always wanted a decent hoverboard. Oh yeah, because he's got a crappy one. That's the implication. Yeah, so that that will explain why you'll probably be like super rad. Yeah, at you're gonna scene. win. Yeah. Nope. This is a bad one. Okay. Because you know what they say: if you can get good with crap equipment, then. Yeah, that is pretty typical. Just watch what happens whenever you're rocking the good stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember Ooh, kind feeling of like that how way we... in art school. Yeah. Going like, oh my god, this is what a really good brush is like? Holy shit! Or it's like, oh wow, this is what full Photoshop is like instead of Photoshop Elements? Oh god, poor Photoshop Elements. We shouldn't talk about that. It's trying its hardest. <laughs> it's it's Babby's first Photoshop. It's and fine. You gotta start somewhere. I actually like shelled out to buy a copy of that. Like, I didn't even pirate it. Like, a normal person <laughs> i i shelled have, out for a copy have you okay um how to, how to discuss this careful you're very low on hits yes i realize this these sand sharks are shitty totally thought that one had your number me too had my number yeah. <laughs> what are you 75 <laughs> is that my number <laughs> if so you're going to have to give it back because i don't want oh, you having it boy whippersnapper <laughs> what were you about to ask you'll see it foreclosed on before the end of the month my number oh, okay. okay never mind fine whatever um Taking out a second mortgage on my number. There's, there's, yes. I see it. <laughs> Sorry, that was, uh. It's over there! Spastic and unhelpful. It's over there. I don't think you can rash it. Okay. Never mind. You were saying? Oh, what was I saying? Hmm. Have I mentioned on the show one of my most important metrics for, like, uh, as I get older? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Ratchet gets so angry when he's shooting his guns. It's probably pretty hot. So, um, one of the most important measures of quality, in my mind, as I get older. I've played so many games in my life. I have probably played and forgotten. I have forgotten about more games than some people will ever play. You know? Yeah. So, for me, one of the most important indicators of quality is how much do I actually remember about a game once I'm done playing it? And is that stuff good? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, you know what's weird? There are games that at the time I thought were kind of bad, mm -hmm. but just being able to remember them means something to me, so I remember them kind of fondly, even if they, they may not be the best. I can't think of any examples right now, but they're there. So anyway, I remember... not quite a whole lot about the scenarios in XCOM Enemy Unknown. And I think most depressingly, I cannot remember like a single positive like fuck yeah moment. Nope. I cannot, I can't give you an example of like a cool thing that happened in XCOM Enemy Unknown. Yeah. 
and see what's going on? Okay. Like, I can't give you a cool example of, like, a neat thing that happened. It was I'm just trying... like, oh, yeah, this is a nice game. Kind of like how sometimes you have a piece of bread, and it's like, yeah, this is a nice piece of bread. And then like, later you're like, hmm, okay. Bread. I think I'm going to backpedal a little bit, just because... I don't think I hate XCOM Enemy Unknown. Mm -hmm. I think I hate that somebody made an admittedly less visually appealing but much more robust comprehensive title with the same like within the same series like i think decades before the new shiny one mm -hmm. no. and like that's what i would recommend i would recommend the people like, if, if they really desperately... Like, I would recommend that people try to play the old ones, and if they just can't get into them, mm -hmm. then they should try the new one. And then even then, I would still be like, okay, once you've sort of broken your teeth on that one, try to go back and play the older ones. I think it's cutting teeth. Cut. Did I say breaking teeth? Yes. Well, I don't know. I think it still sort of fits the game. <laughs> <laughs> the old ones are pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs>